guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing this spring makeup look y'all it looks so good it literally screams spring and summer just glowy and everything make sure you guys get a snack or something because i'm pretty sure this video is going to be long so yeah let's just get into this video okay so we're going to start off with the brows of course to line the brows up, I'm going to be using this ColourPop Brow Boss. It's like a brow pencil. I actually think I got the wrong one when I went to Ulta. But it's fine. I'm just going to still use it. I got the wrong one or they just did... They just made a new one or something. Cause I'm not like a fan of this because the other one was like so smooth to draw on but now it's like this one is just like not doing it for brows I'm always using this is the NYX eyebrow gel you can get it from Ulta Y'all, I haven't did a makeup tutorial in so long. Like, literally so freaking long. Well, I feel like it's been a long time. I just haven't really been in the mood to do a makeup tutorial. Maybe because I haven't really got any new makeup. So, it's not really, like, motivating for me to, like, film anything. I've been like getting like new stuff recently, trying out new things. So, yeah. I love this stuff. I'm always using this for my brows. y'all like to see an updated eyebrow tutorial because i would do that for you guys if you want me to i just use the la girl pro concealer in a color fawn for my eyes so i can clean the brows up i usually don't do this but i'm gonna do it today it's like really no need for me to do it because my brows always look good, so, in my opinion. Are y'all ready for spring? I'm so ready. Like, I'm ready for, like, the warm weather, but I'm not ready for, like, you know the bugs and all that like i'm just not with the i'm not with the bugs like i hate bugs and i don't want, i'm not ready for it to get too hot i'm just ready to go to the beach to be honest because when we got to the beach we actually went to myrtle beach and myrtle beach is like four hours from here so it's not like it's gonna be like 10 degrees cooler from where we at and it's not i can't do the cold i can't go to the beach in a cold it's just i feel like it's just no point of going like you know you can't go to the beach if you do you freezing you're not gonna have like a swimsuit on i'll just wait we're going to prime the eyes i'm going to use the la girl I'm thinking about making like a spring detox drink because I was going to do that last spring, but I forgot. But would you guys like to see that? Because this detox drink, you can literally make it at home. It's like three to four ingredients. 
Okay, so we're going to be using the Morphe palette. Oh, it's upside down. The Morphe palette. This is the 3502 palette. Um, these are just like some warm shades and it got some shimmers in here too so perfect for you know any time of the year so it looks like this so pretty so nice and i'm going to get my blending brush i'm gonna use this color right here this is in a shade spice i'm gonna put that in my crease I'm going to be trying out some new products today so we're gonna see how it works Okay, so for today, I'm going to be doing like a glowy look. Um, so not really any like dark shades. I'm going to be using a brown, but I'm not going to be putting like a like too much brown in there. I'm going to be using this color right here. This is in the shade Brick. Just a little bit. Now we're going to use like a brush that's more stiff and I'm going to be using this brown right here. It's like a lighter brown than this. Um, maybe not. Maybe. Okay. So I'm going to use this brown right here. Yeah. This brown right here. Um, this is rich. And I'm just going to focus it, like focus on the outer part. We don't want to like do it too dark because this is a spring look. Then I'm going to blend it all the way over. But when I blend it over, it's like nothing, I'm not going back in the palette. We're going to get this flat brush and we're going to be using like some shimmer on the lids. I'm going to actually use um, this gold right here that I got. This is 325B. This is the Wet n Wow highlighting palette. And I'm going to put this on the lid. Okay, we'll use more spray. Use this tape right here. I'm going to put that by my eye. I'm doing it like this because if you just put it straight on your eye, it kind of like hurts when you rip it off. I'm 
going to be using this Avon True Color. This is the liquid pencil. Looks like this. This is really cheap, like $2, I think. My Avon store is down below. If you guys want to go check it out. almost there mascara I'm going to be using that um, L'Oreal voluminous original mascara everything I use in this video will be down below so you guys can go check it out this up at the store this is new to me but this is not new to the store um but this is the maybelline new york baby skin this is the pore eraser i've been trying to find a good um really primer for my pores hopefully it worked let me let me keep the thing okay so it looks like this i don't know if you guys can see yeah like that let me know if you guys like this and the lighting and all that because I'm trying I'm trying okay okay I definitely see it already let me get my small one mirror Okay, I don't know why I didn't get this a while ago. It kind of feel like like a jelly, like a like a gel, but like a silky gel. If that even makes sense. Okay, put a little right here. And I'm going to put some in the middle of my forehead because I do have pores right there. And there, it is open, of course. Um, but yeah. It feel, feels like really nice. I like it, I like it. I'm going to be using this L'Oreal true match lumi glow it's like a glow booster it's like the drops it's kind of it's like a highlight let me let me shake it up it's a highlight but it's just you know drops this is like a little lighter but i like that like the undertone like that pink undertone I use my finger when I do this. Sometimes I do use a um, like a beauty blender, but today I'm not. Going in with the foundation, I think this is going to be too red for me. But yeah, definitely, definitely 
too red for me, but let's just see how it is in the bottle. Yeah, it's too red. So we're gonna make it work. Sometimes you just gotta make it work. Oh, I didn't tell you guys what the foundation was. It was really too red. This foundation, this is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. So, I think this is kind of like... I think this is the line that's kind of like um like a workout line i don't know i was looking at that the other day and i heard they came out with some new stuff So now I didn't touch the back of my ears. Now I'm just going to put a little bit back of my ears and then drag it down a little bit. Put it by my hairline a little bit. Okay. I, I like it. I like it so far. I don't feel heavy on the face. I'm going to be using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. To set my face, I'm going to be using this Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. This is in the shade Medium Deep. Just kind of to, you know, bake the face a little. I don't really bake my face, but, you know, to set my face. We're going to be using the light shade and just see how it works on the face. Okay, yeah, we're going to stick to the light shade. Okay, now I'm going to pinch my brush and I'm going to get some of that light side and I'm going to contour my nose a little. Okay. And now we're going to highlight the face again, but I'm going to be using powder. This is the Wet n Wild Highlighting Palette.
forgot my blush. Let me use a little bit of blush. Um, Maybelline Fit Me Blush in the shade 55. Okay, this is actually a lip liner, but I'm gonna use it as a eye liner. Um, this is the this is the NYX lip liner in the shade natural. Kind of looks a little pink, but here's the trick. For me, it's like a nudish pink, so that's why I just use it on the bottom of my lashes. But I'm gonna use this stiff blending brush, it's just a small brush, and I'm gonna use um this shade right here, spice and I'm just gonna use spice let's just see what it looks like okay so no different so I'm gonna use a little spice a little bit of spice and a little bit of brick just a little bit of brick So for lashes, I know you're like, Jasmine, like, where are your lashes at, girl? But I waited to do this because I got the, um, like, magnetic lashes. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but I got it. This is the um, Ardell Magnetic Lashes. This is the Double Divi um, Wispy. I don't know. I'll leave it down below so you guys can check it out. So this is new. Okay. This is so much better. Okay, so for lip liner, I'm going to be using this Morphe lip liner is in coffee and kissy should be kisses i think last time i filmed my video with this i said kissy kisses i think it should be kisses anyways Now I'm just going to use this NYX Butter Gloss. This is BLG 16. I literally love this. And it's like $4, $4 or $5 at Ulta. Now we're going to spray the face. And we kind of want to make the skin look a little cute, you know. Okay, I did that, and now we're going to use the highlight, the powder highlight from Wet n Wow. I'm going to use a little bit of that. I don't know if you guys can see that. Just want to, you know, make it cute. Okay, 
so that's all for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's just like a summary makeup look it looks so good and i struggle with these lashes um these are the um magnetic lashes i didn't know how to do it so i struggled a little bit on that but everything else looks so good and this look is so perfect for summertime springtime really any any season you can change the lip out for like a matte look fall and winter so yeah i really like this it screams spring and summer just you know glowy and everything so yeah i hope you guys like this video if you want to create this look or get some products that i used on my face all you have to do is just go down in the description below and you can go check that out but i will see you guys in the next one bye guys mm -hmm.